So as I was checking out the high quota leaderboards after completing my assurance run, I kind of checked out the other single moon categories and I noticed that experimentation still doesn't have a solo high quota entry in there. And on top of that, someone had beaten Bread's high quota experimentation run. And as I got off, got off Dead by Daylight tonight, I saw on my YouTube recommended that Bread was also streaming experimentation high quota last night so it seems like experimentation is a hot topic love when experimentation is getting some attention and i would like to bring more attention to experimentation by bringing up the fact that no one has completed a solo experimentation high quota and hopefully it'll garner some interest in that and to that end i'm gonna give it another go um i am still kind of upset though because uh in version 56 i did try an experimentation only run and the only reason I lost that run is because I died to a kidnapper fox that spawned under my ship. And it is what it is, you know, the way she goes in version 56. But we are playing in version 64, the most updated version of Lethal Company. I'm kind of hoping for some single item days to help me get to the top, or to get me all through seven quotas. Because the difficult part about solo experimentation isn't the danger, but the, the loot density, because oftentimes Experimentation might not give you good enough loot to reach the 230 average that you need to complete seven quotas solo. Um, it might, like if I did duo, we'd probably clear this, no problem. But solo, you only have so much time to bring items back and we're gonna see if I get good enough luck to be able to do this while also, you know, using whatever skill I have to not throw. We're gonna go, let's see what we get. I think last time I did try this in like version 64 once. Uh, no beehives by the way. And I was trying some cruiser strategies to hopefully help me bring some items back. But it didn't go that well so I don't think I'm gonna bring the cruiser this time. Just and just play like you know experimentation in a way that I'm comfortable. I think jetpack is sufficient. Like uh, the dangers of experimentation aren't so bad that a cruiser is entirely necessary. But maybe I'm gonna get you know, maybe I'll get spawns that prove me otherwise. I will say a big part of making experimentation work is also securing the apparatus as many times as possible. Like, if I can get the apparatus almost every day, that would be fantastic. I think we get an- is this an apparatus room immediately? That would have been nice. We do get a loot room though. There's only nine objects, so I'm not expecting anything in here to be honest. That's just two full- two full inventories and the apparatus. Get a key just in case. I'm also not streaming it because I'm a little sleepy. Uh, if I wake up in time, I'll do another stream later today. But you know, I only... I only recorded one session last night, my assurance only run, which I did... Um, complete enough quotas to submit to the high quota leaderboard, thank goodness. It took me quite a few different attempts to do that. And now we're gonna go for the experimentation one again. There's one of nine objects, two of nine objects. I guess two of eight, not including the apparatus. By the way, we started main because I want to end fire exit. I think ending fire exit makes the most sense. There's a big room there as well. I'm also just carrying this stuff. I don't know if I should have unlocked that, but we ball. We do get on the other side of the door here. I don't know if we needed to. Hopefully there's nothing in there. We're about to find out if I needed to unlock that or not. Oh, we get a large axle. And I think it's going to take us to the big room over here, so I probably didn't need to do that. Now I'm, I'm kind of just playing for fire exit. Experimentation's interior isn't all that big. So. Okay, there's one full inventory. We can drop this here. I don't want to go see if there's anything down here first before I fully commit. Maybe there might be a fire exit down here or something. There's a door. Like, this has fire exit energy. It also has dead end energy. I can't really tell the difference. For reference, it is 6 in the morning. I think I said that in the intro. I don't entirely remember. The Dead by Daylight sessions kind of go a little bit late. But, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. Check over here first. I think this takes me back to main, actually. If I'm not mistaken. But we'll see. I think we'll commit into the big room. I think the big- I will find the fire exit through the big room. Hopefully I find the apparatus as well. 
We also confirm that there isn't a door down that way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this stuff a little higher. Put it here in case I need to come back this way. And that my uh, guess is wrong. I just hope my guess is, is not wrong. Okay, yeah. I was right. So that's five objects now. The thing is, we're, it's not... The loot isn't worth all too much. But you know, a couple beehives here and there, and a single item day can really change the flow of this run. So I think we just kind of go as far as we can go. Don't worry too much about how we do in the beginning, because it's all going to matter how we finish it. We could also, like, uh, figure out our timing here as well. Because no loot density doesn't matter if you don't get the loot back in time. So we're looking at at least two inventories here, since I have at least two large axles. Uh, about to be two o'clock. Tua. Tua. Need Tua's. Okay. And then I saw that there was steam at the bottom here, but I'm pretty sure the apparatus is going to be down here somewhere. So hopefully it's not too dangerous. I almost walked off the map. We do have this. There's a snare flea blocking that one of four power levels. It's kind of unfortunate that it's blocking the one way I need to go, but I'll just aggro it on purpose. Don't go back up there. Okay, well. Let's beat it. Okay. I think it just went right back to where it was, but fine. This is less fine. That's probably... I probably need that, but whatever. Um, Only one more power level that's not accounted for. Where did this thing go? Okay, well, I'm slightly concerned about my lack of visual on this snare fleet. Interesting. I might have to cut my losses here. Just take an L on day one. I def even if I wanted to kill that spider, I don't have enough time to get a shovel and kill it. I also don't have the best luck versus spiders. I mean, 152 isn't bad, honestly. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Again, we need a 230 average for this to be okay. I mean, if I got if I got the apparatus here, I would have been there. Just didn't get it this time. I also have the speed run timer up, and to keep me on pace. Because you know, I brought I put the speed run timer up. On my assurance run and I did just fine so I'm thinking the same thing will happen here but I am a little less awake for this one so we're gonna see how it goes assurance I woke up and did this time you know it's after the assurance run it's also after a long session of dead by daylight and not a lot of sleep I consider just going to sleep and then waking up and seeing what happens afterwards but I drank a coffee before starting the Dead by Daylight session because I actually wasn't sure if we were going to play the session because you know, normally we start around like midnight or so. This time we started around 2 o'clock. I literally loaded up Lethal Company with the intention of doing this session while I was still awake and fresh off the coffee. But right as I booted up Lethal Company, that's when I got summoned. And, um, you know, if I have to pick between the late night Dead by Daylight session and playing off stream Lethal Company, you know, there's an easy choice here. So, whether or not I did this run afterwards or like later on today was up to how I felt after Dead by Daylight, and the way I feel right now is that the best decision is to do it like this. That said, I am on a bit of a timer, so I'm probably not going to give too many, this one too many goes. Maybe I'll revisit it on stream later if, depending on how this one happens. Because I'm racing against my own sleep, and also hunger, too. 
I'll probably eat something before going to bed as well. But I will sleep after this, no matter what. At least render down the the assurance video so I can properly submit it to the high quota leaderboards. Maybe be able to do two at once, you know. That would be the ideal ending. We got five out of nine objects there, so... But given the spawns we had, maybe I could have cleared main a bit more. But it was getting a little late as well, like I finished bringing everything back by 7 o'clock. I guess I had 5 more hours to work with. Would have been a lot of backtracking though. Rainy assur- or rainy experimentation. We are playing on experimentation and only experimentation. Version 64. There'll be hives once again. We got 10 objects this time. Make- Big part of rainy is keeping track of where the puddles are. For example, there's one that's gonna be under the ship. Um, is there any on the path back? Let's see. I want to make sure there isn't any puddles here, because that's going to be our dismount. Um, any at the bottom of this staircase? Good to know, because that's normally a safe spot. But it's not going to be this time. Nope, not that way either. You can tell the difference visually, but sometimes it's not always the case. So, it's good to figure out your pathing beforehand. You know, so we will go for the fire exit dismount. Uh, let's see if there's a puddle down here, just in case. It looks like there is. So, dropping from main, it probably won't be the best idea. At least this time around. Okay, immediate locked door on main. Kinda unlucky, to be honest. Well, left hug. We're gonna be, we're gonna train ourselves to be dedicated left huggers there's a loot room up front but don't get distracted we are behind the locked door now so this doesn't matter that much oh hey gift box i'm gonna have to steal from him for sure big bolt nice we get the apparatus i might just pull it honestly I think it'll be okay. And I, I will go buy a shovel. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna run back already and buy a shovel. I can deal with this hoarding bug. I can't let him keep the gift box, unfortunately. I must rob you. But I understand that you're gonna defend that until otherwise specified. Can't have you or your friends aggro on me at this time. We can have that for now. Two of eight. Oh, we have to go all the way around, though. Because of the rainy puddles. Rainy kind of makes... Well, I was going to say rainy makes it easier to see the puddles, but... Uh, puddles only spawn on rainy, Austin. Almost like it's the mechanic of this weather. The main mechanic, you know. Looks like there's going to be a puddle right where the dropship comes in, but it shouldn't be a problem. The Zeekers wouldn't put a puddle right under the dropship, would he? Oh, well, he would, absolutely, actually. That has for sure killed people. That has 100% killed people. Not going to kill me, but... Hey, let's see if Mr. Hoardingbug has collected more loot for us. And then we'll go fire exit. Surely he's collected more stuff by now. Okay, that's right. He 
You have a key now. Okay. I mean, I didn't mean to take damage there, but whatever. Happens sometimes. I think there's a loot room over here, yeah, so let's just check here. Oh, fire exit. Word. Not ideal. I actually think another hoarding bug is spawning in, which would be very unfortunate. Then the hoarding bug is just going to aggro again. Maybe it's the snare flea, actually. Left hugging from the fire exit now. Oh my god, dude. I just left my run up to fate just to get to a dead end. If the run ended, the run ends, you know? What else is in here? What else spawned with me? Another snare flea? Word. Okay, that makes this super safe, actually, so I don't mind it too much. I was gonna say we gotta find the apparatus, but we already did that. That's like the first thing we did. Maybe we just gotta be content with what we have, unfortunately. I don't think there's puddles up here. I think I would have known if there were. We're gonna play like there isn't. Mm, still not quite the amount of loot we're looking for, but... We got the 80 apparatus. We got an 18 tattered metal sheet. We have a gift box. That'll have more than... It's cover. Oh, it's only a 24 B-type. I, like I, I feel like that's a scam. It, it is part of what makes experimentation... I quote a, a little, uh, I don't want to say difficult. It makes it difficult because you're kind of forced to get more stuff than this. I mean, look at my timing, you know? It's not like I really can. Viably. Oh, uh, let's grab. Let's grab another shelf. Oh, All the way to the pipe is safe. By the time I get to the tattered metal sheet in the key, I should have enough stamina to run back. That was crazy. No sound effect when dropping this? Oh, it's because I'm picking it up before it even fully falls. That's nuts. That's comp. I'm actually gonna bring this back first. The stuff that's hard to grab. I shouldn't have any outdoor enemies at this time. I'd be really unlucky if there were. Oh, this whole run is contingent on luck, so I'm gonna play as if I get good luck. Now obviously, some of the loot would indicate otherwise, but as far as everything else, if luck, if luck isn't on my side loot-wise, I'm hoping that luck is on my side danger-wise. That's why I went for that order there. Because it would be a shame if, you know, there were no danger and I wasn't able to secure the, uh... Oh, that's a decent large axle. If I wasn't able to secure the keys for whatever reason. I don't even know if I need keys. Maybe I bring a belt bag, honestly. Especially if a shovel is going to be super important. Like, just two extra pounds. 
Just so I can bring all of my keys just in case. You know? Yeah, we'll we'll buy a belt bag on quota one. Or after quota one rather. Can I afford the belt bag right now? No, it's not on sale. 191. Still underpaced. I don't expect most of the days to be on pace, so the dates where I am, I'm just gonna have to hope that I do really well on them. 11 objects? I'm not entirely sure if that means I have beehives, because I was a little late to the scan, unfortunately. If I don't see bees here, I'm just gonna assume that I don't have them. It would be a waste to look for bees when I don't know for sure if I have any. I only have so much time to get loot, you know. So if I have any chance of get bringing all three inventories back, I need to be able to loot this efficiently and quickly. I'll leave this shovel outside for now. We'll bring it in if we have to. Don't want to bring a shovel if I don't need it. Part of the RNG, you know. Okay, somehow I looped all the way around main. Sure. Hopefully this isn't fire exit. Kind of posturing to be fire exit. Okay, I scanned something. I scanned something in here. Where the hell? Okay, it wasn't this. There's something else in here. Okay, wow. Scan is so good. I know it's supposed to, I know it's intentionally bad, but goddamn. Alright, let's get a key anyway. So we know this loops around to the left, so let's right hug this time. Okay, hey, there's our landmine. a loot room which is nice pick up here since we started up here here we got behind this door as well which is cool there's the fire exit nice okay let's not get lost let's kind of stick to the plan here Actually got something in a locker this time. This is where fire exit's at, so we'll probably come back through fire exit. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Well, what it is? C7. We might actually have to open up some power doors. I think it's worth a look. I mean, we're gonna look over there first. I also just turn off the breaker. Turning off the breaker does the same. But before we do that, let's keep going. Just in case. Oh, we get the apparatus room here, actually. I have enough keys to just send it there. We right hug back. Pretty sure this is a dead end, but we're gonna commit to the bit now. Okay. Yeah. When in doubt, you know, you can always just stick to this. Unless you're in the rare instance where your shit loops back around. Just unlucky, to be honest. Okay, breaker is here. We should be coming up on the fire exit right now. I will go check real quick in that other room. See if there's anything behind C7.
Right, it's over here. Oh, dustpan. I mean, it brought us back to the fire exit. But we did get an extra item going that way. I think it was a win. Do this. go like this. Oh no, wait. there was two objects out here, so I might leave one of the keys. I have a decent amount of keys anyway, and I'm probably going to get more, to be honest. We'll take this, and we'll go back to the fire exit. No weathers, so I don't have to worry about puddles or anything here. I think this might be my first day that I earned over 230. Actually, it's going to be close still. I think I'm still slightly underpaced. But at the same time, you know, 230 is just kind of the av based on the average that you're supposed to get for 7 quotas. If I'm lucky enough to where I get like a 7th quota like I've been getting on my last few runs, especially like the successful runs, I might be able to get away with underperforming. Because I've been getting some, I've been low rolling some quotas lately. Like 1500 for quota 8 is extremely low. I, especially looking at some of like the leaderboard submissions. I'm extremely lucky when in that regard. So if, if you get like low quotas, sometimes it's worth just playing out, even if you're not really on pace. If your goal, you know, is to. Just get on the board. I also noticed that someone got onto the Embryon leaderboard as a solo. That's an elusive one. That, that's freaking impressive. I'm gonna have to try it again. I don't like that it has high chance of mineshaft though. I'm gonna have to do some homework. See which version of Embryon I want to do. Maybe V50 Embryon is the way to go. I don't remember which version they did. I don't think it was V50 though. I'm pretty sure they did V64. But you know, V6, like doing the one with the single item days, maybe you get some good single item days. I kind of want to watch to see what their strategy was. Because you don't, I feel like. You don't complete seven quotas on Embryon solo by accident. I feel like... Well, maybe there's a lot of RNG involved too, because Embryon's just kind of a crazy moon to begin with. Oh wait, there's already a dog and it's only seven o'clock. Fair enough. I mean, enemies can spawn at this time on experimentation is just a lot more likely that they'll start spawning after 10 p.m. Got a jar of pickles out of that gift box, by the way. I didn't do the math. I should have done the math to see how much um, this brings me now. LBs for the entire first quota. It is what it is. We're we'll getting through quota one just fine. Thankfully. Above 230 maybe? Let's see. Nice. Our first day on pace. It doesn't make up for our lack of pace on the first two, but it at least brings us 13 closer. You know, thir that was 13 over. It might be super important for me to get as close to exact as possible here.
Four forty-two, forty-eight. What? How much is this flask worth? Twenty-eight. Find something worth twenty-two. I'll be set. Twenty-one is upsetting. Twenty-four. I mean, I guess. In an apparatus. There's probably a way to get exact here, but I guess I don't care that much. Fifty-two. I'll be two over. Honestly though, two over might end up being the difference in this run. Like I wasn't as worried on assurance where the loot density is like kind of is pretty significant. Or and like I should be able to make up for losses, but I'm a lot less confident about that being the case here. I'll get the belt bag. So that way I can carry my keys and shovel together. I don't want to bring keys and then not use them, you know, but I also don't want to and I, and I will bring a shovel every time anyway. Eventually, I'll probably start storing TZPs too. TZPs might be a good play just to kind of save some time. Or make... Make time. So, slightly heavier than just the shovel by itself, but I'll be able to take all of my keys with me. Just gotta remember to not die with this thing, or to not leave it behind. I think I got about 400 left on the ship still. I just have to make sure I'm above pace for like the first four quotas or so. Because at some point it's going to be hard for me to outpace the quota. Actually, it's probably going to be hard to outpace the quota here now. 226 is a fantastic roll. Okay, we might be cooking. Get some beehives, it'll change everything too. Done. Okay. Even though I was a little late, I'm pretty sure I was fast enough. 10 objects. You know, 226 is good. Gotta make sure that I'm good now. Leave the belt bag out here. Dead end. That's crazy. That's actually kind of crazy. Plastic fish, nice. That's a decent one too, 37. Homemade flashbang. I do like when scrap spawns on the... Um, on the shelves though. I don't think hoarding bugs can grab them. I wonder if it's worth... If I'm in a room like this, can I... Okay, no, it just goes underneath. It's worth a shot though. Potentially, you know, prevent hoarding bugs from... Taking stuff if you can place them on there. Like, probably inten intentional that you can't do that. Worth a shot. I can't believe that's the first time I've thought about trying that though. But you know, I can't. There's no way I'm the first person who's thought of it. So if it was possible, we would have heard about it by now. I would have heard about it by now, especially because it's a hoarding bug. One of the original monsters in the game, I would have heard about a trick regarding hoarding bugs. I don't always keep up with the tricks for newer enemies, like old birds, uh, man eaters, etc. But as far as the OG monsters go, I tend to at least know those. Unless there's new strategies that have come, uh, people have come up with over those. And I know there has been, you know, because there, there was that video by Nokia, or I don't remember which version that came out. Ah, fire exit. We're gonna take this stuff down to the fire exit because it's closer. Oh man, okay, this, the sleep is starting to set in low-key. Getting a little sleepy now. 
Hopefully we can just complete this run regardless. Looks like there's a dead end on my right, actually. I'm gonna investigate farther and... Okay. Had to confirm for myself. What I can do is I'll take this. I'll take the full inventory back. I'm gonna bring the belt bag up to fire. Because there's a locked door up there. I, I passed by quite a few locked doors. And this is where the belt bag shovel combo is gonna come into play, right? I don't think I go main anymore. Unless I'm wrong for that. Whatever. If I'm if I'm wrong, then it's what it is. About the 230 average quota thing, I'm pretty sure or two average loot thing. I'm pretty sure the 230 is for a higher quota than the 226 on quota two. But I have no idea what pace is like now. I probably should do some retroactive math, especially with Verdance, you know. Or like my Verdance and Assurance runs. I don't want to see what low like what my average loot should be when I low roll quotas too. Because there might be a number that I look at where I just absolutely know that I'm off. And that might be a time to drop the run. But at the same time, you know, what if I just go? What if I end up getting a world record for a single item day clear? That just sets me up right the entire time. But I would like to know what numbers I'm actually working with when I'm going to keep doing this. It seems pretty likely that this is what I'm going to keep doing, you know, going for a solo high quotas. So I should really get familiar with the quota 1 through 7 numbers. And what I should be checking out, you know. Well, at least take one. Luckily, it's like immediate too, right? Oh, tattered metal sheet. Okay. We'll leave it there. For now. Got a slime. Another key. We get the apparatus. That would kind of be an ideal uh, encounter here. Obviously, slime isn't entirely ideal. But I think going past this slime is. Oh, okay, nothing here. So I guess everything is towards main then. What? Ah, uh, find the apparatus. Bottles as well. Okay. Just in case. Now we left hook to get back, I'm pretty sure, yeah. We can wait for the slime to kind of come through a little bit. Okay. In order to juggle the slime, I'm going to pull the apparatus now. Because we're going to do a little bit of jungle juggling around this slime. get there eventually. Okay, right hugging would have got me there immediately, but it's fine. Now we close this door and we're A-OK. -okay. No, stop! What the fuck? Alright, well... Let's 
Sensei was mad, huh? Well, I can't let him have the apparatus, so I'm gonna have to kill him. Oh god, there's two of them! Oh god, no, please! Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright. Well, anyway, I'm gonna try this again some other time. Probably on stream, but I guess that'll be it for now. We'll probably call this something like this is what Dead by Daylight, or not Dead by Daylight, what it is the company looks like when you have no sleep. But I definitely don't have another attempt in me, so we're gonna leave it there.